Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to change the branding on your survey from maybe you had previous branding that you just don't like or you wanna move away from the typical survey branding. So I'm currently in my surveys. One thing that you do need to do before you hit surveys is enable surveys. I'm just in the quick find on the back end of Salesforce. But once that is enabled, um, you can go ahead and create your survey. I'm gonna go into a survey that I've already created and open the last version of it. All right, so now one thing that we do need to do is we need to archive this because it was live. And then it's just like a flow where you need to go ahead and create a new version whenever you archive it after it's been live and create that new version. Okay, so currently you can see that we have the rocky background that is typical of Salesforce. I am going to go ahead and upload a new file. Note that it does have to be beneath a certain size to be able to be uploaded into your survey. So that might take a little time. I just had to pause the video and then come back to it because I needed to make this image a little smaller. But as you can see, we changed the background from the rocks to a sparkly background. All right, and then we can drop the image opacity if we wanted to by going down. So let's say we wanted to make it a little less uh, in your face. Then we could do the background image blur as well to maybe make the survey stand out a little more. Could choose a different background color of the physical survey. Or we could choose the background color of the survey if we wanted to change the um, image and have it be a solid color instead. We can add a logo here as well and change the logo alignment. Logo background, background color. And then we can change different button labels. So if we wanted to change the next button label to next question, as you can see, this question just changed to next question or the button changed to next question. And then I'm gonna change the finish button to complete. All right, and then we can change the content card. We can change the text color of the question. Um, I don't recommend changing it to yellow, but you could go ahead and do that. Um, I recommend it just being it black or blue maybe, maybe purple, that's a good color. And then answer choices, we can change the color as well and the button color. And then we can change the start next finish button colors as well and the text color of those, same with the previous button color and the uh, text color. So I'm gonna change this, let's go ahead and change it to hot pink. And this is not at all any type of branding that I have, <laughs> I'm just, showing you the different features. I recommend that you do make this a lot more cohesive and put together for your customers or for internal purposes and make it along the same lines of your branding. I'm sure that the marketing department has all of the different hex colors that you could use uh, to match. You can also use a dropper tool to figure it out if they don't have those readily available for you. That is kind of how you change the branding. I am going to go ahead and save this and then activate it. So this will become version two and the version two will be active. So if I wanted to come in here and change any of the different settings, I would come in, deactivate it, and then change it to a version three or copy it into a version three. That is kind of a quick rundown of how you change the branding on your Salesforce survey. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, uh, you can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. You can check out the blog at salesforceemily.com and any courses that we have on salesforceupskill.com. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.